The EPA administrator is visiting East Palestine, Ohio today. That's right. He's there to survey the scene of last week's train derailment, which led to the controlled release of toxic chemicals into the air. On Wednesday, hundreds of residents from the area crowded into a high school gym expecting answers from the train company, Norfolk Southern. While local, state and federal officials were on hand, the train company did not show, citing a growing physical threat to their employees. It was just a big runaround. Like, I feel like a lot of the questions that were asked were people's rantings and just speaking in circles. The answers that were given were things that we've already been told. CBS News correspondent Roxana Saberi joins us now. Uh, Roxana, the EPA lawmakers, they all appear to be physically in Ohio right now. But as we just heard from some residents, they're not hearing anything fresh, anything new, anything reassuring. Talk to us about what they're telling you they want to know. Well, residents here, Errol, have a lot of questions. Mainly, they want to know, are they safe? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is safe and what is safe? Are the water, soil, and air safe? Is it okay to shower and wash their clothes at home? Or is the water contaminated? And why are fish dying in the streams? They want to know what chemicals were on the train. What exactly was leaked or released into the environment? You know, at first, they'd heard only about vinyl chloride, a carcinogen. But last week, the EPA wrote a letter to Norfolk Southern saying there were at least four other chemicals either known to have been and continue to be released into the air, soils, and surface waters. Those chemicals are known to be hazardous, so residents here are asking, what else don't we know? And they've also been asking, since authorities and EPA officials said last week it was safe to come home, mm -hmm. why are some people now getting headaches, some kids feeling sick? What about any long-term health effects? So what are officials then saying in response to those questions? Are they still reassuring people that their homes and environment are safe? Yeah, well, so far, the EPA says it has helped with the air quality screening in hundreds of homes in the evacuation area. And according to its results, the air quality tests have come back fine. And Norfolk Southern Railway says it's continuing to remove spilled contaminants from the ground and streams while also monitoring the quality of the air. And the company also announced yesterday it's creating a $1 million fund to help the community and that it will increase the number of people who can be reimbursed for for their evacuation costs. We spoke to several residents who told us they were trying to get reimbursements for those costs, but they were told that because they lived outside the mandatory evacuation zone, which was only one mile by two miles, that they were that they couldn't get reimbursed, that they didn't qualify. Um, and they were wondering, you know, we just live two blocks away or three blocks away from this evacuation zone. And are you saying that toxic chemicals didn't waft over to our yards and into our homes? Um, so now some residents, uh, upon this new news that they heard yesterday have been coming here to this church to see if they can get some of those reimbursement checks. But they've told us the checks are only around $1,000 a person, which doesn't cover much. Uh, interestingly, there are several class action lawsuits already in the works against Norfolk Southern, with more residents signing up by the day. It's understandable why those residents want more uh, answers. Reassuring answers. And of course, if you're more than and a block away, answers. certainly there'll be health uh, effects. Roxana, we appreciate you keeping us up to date and we'll continue to check in with you as this develops.